Uh, yes, Mr. MLA, what will you do to solve this? Well, we're going to truck, trickle up. We're going to increase taxes to the to those few who are working, so that the so that we can uh, build more and more projects. <clears throat> That's how uh, we are thinking about uh, uh, solving the problem. Uh, that we saw justice there today? Yeah. No, certainly not. I think that the court fails to recognize that there are treaty laws that supersede Canadian law which come into play in this situation. And so all of these trumped up charges against the defenders of the land have to be considered in that nation to nation context and in that treaty context, not just in the context of some phony injunction that comes from a corporation from Texas. Tell me why you're clean here. Clean air and clean water. Well, I'm here. I'm, I'm an MLA representing the Irvings. Uh, the Irving riding is a very substantial oh, riding. It uh, covers that, most of the I province. Got, I, got oh, the, I thought it was the whole province. Uh, it is the whole province. I shouldn't have said most of the province. I'm sorry. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I stand to be corrected. You're a very, very knowledgeable man. <laughs> they, uh, at any rate, we have been representing the Irvings, as you can see, for, uh, for uh, a very, very long time, since before World War II. Where, where is, the, uh, is that gas going to be used? Uh, gas will probably be used in offshore, and certainly won't be used a lot. Are they going to be taking this natural gas? It seems that they probably will and send it offshore. Where in the offshore they can get fourteen dollars a thousand cubic feet, whereas uh, here we can only get it in North America can only get three or four, which is below the cost of production. And how violent it really did get? I didn't get to see what happened for the whole twelve hours that that was happening because. I was already beaten down and thrown into jail by 10 o'clock in the morning. So everything that happened afterwards, that was that was everything that happened around. So everything that happened was, you know, it's illegal for them to come in at like, like us. They're violating our indigenous rights and they're not respecting the open communication that we had. And we received a bundle of tobacco from one of the police officers the night before this happened, before we were going to bed to ensure that we had a peaceful you know, peaceful communication and open communication and everything will be peaceful. So I even, we even gave back the tobacco back to the police as they had their guns drawn on us. You know, what does your tobacco mean? I was even telling them, you know, what does this mean to you guys? You guys give this to us. We consider this sacred. And they continue to desecrate our spirituality over and over again. Be shale gas, uh, which will only disrupt uh, the agricultural belt. When about a third of the agricultural land in the province should be affected by it, so that'll uh, put the the uh, struggling agricultural uh, uh, sector uh, in a better situation. After all, 